Hello. This is the second part of the demo that I was talking about in, in uh, demo five. And I'm going to talk about the sequence. And basically, in the previous demo, we created the object, added some bones to it, and we started to move them. So, just a quick recap. It was if I was to select, for example, bone one, which is this bone here, and I try to move it, then I can actually move it, and I move everything else that I've added to that bone. Now I want to set up a, an animation sequence, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into sequence, and down here is the timeline. So we have sequence one, I'm going to set up the fact to use figure one, and I'm going to set my frames to say, let's set that to 70. So we now see down here we've extended the seven frames and we've added this object. Now, when I try and move it, nothing moves at the moment. So now let's just have a look and see what's going on. So there's there's what we've set up. Right. Now what I'm going to do is this here, let's come up here, this icon here which shows the axis shows the axis so that we can move things so I'm going to select this bone one okay. I shall double click and I'm going to set the X axis to three no limits okay and now we can see that if I was to move it because I've used this icon here I can see that I can actually move this along this axis so what I'm going to do Yes, I'm going to set the key. So my first frame would be that. I'm going to just drag a frame there. I'm just going to move that. Drag a frame there. Move it. Drag a frame there. Move it. And so on. I'm just going to move it round. And I shall just put that there. And I just move that to there. So when I go to play it, yeah, you can see that. So we've actually created a little sequence of movements, animated movements, for this particular object we've created. Now, this time I'm going to go into scene. And I'm going to build. And I'm going to add the figure I created, which was figure one. And I'm going to build. And I'm going to add the sequence that I created. And I shall set the time frame to say let's set this to 100 for now and let's just play it see what happens all right so that sequence that I set up is actually part of that, that movement now I'm going to go view I'm going to select camera and I shall just pull those up a bit I'm going to try and pull those up. And that's not going to let me for some reason. Maybe it's a bit slow. I should be able to actually select that object. Let's select, let's select that. And let's go to move. There we go. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you that actually by playing that, we've actually got that movement. So let's just add a new object, see what happens here. So I'm going to create a new object. Let's add a release. Let's just go new. Let's create one of these. And let's just colour it, just to give it a bit of colour. Let's just make it colourful. Let's go back to the screen mode, the scene mode, sorry, and let's build in that object we've just created. And I'm just going to drag it down over here. Now, let's start doing some animation. So let's put the keyframe on, let's set that to my first keyframe. 
let's set an animation. Let's move this over here. happen is this item here should actually move across with the animation around here and this one here which is what we set up earlier should also move so we should start building up some complexity in our animations so let's just play that okay brilliant let's try something else let's go back into object and let's create a Let's create a new wall. And then we should make it make let's make it green. Let's make it green. So we can just see what's going on. Okay, we're gonna go back into scene mode. And this time we're gonna build and add object. Okay. Probably start with it down here. Now, let's go back to frame one, put the key on, and just move that to there. So let's just add some keyframes here. Put that to there, put that to there, put that to there, put that to there, add that to there. When you play it, now you can see what we're doing here is we're actually starting to build up some complex animations. So we keep doing this just to see what's going on. So you, you can see that actually we can get quite sophisticated with the animations. Obviously, I could render these into a little movie, and if you go to my first demo, you'll see how to do that. But this should hopefully get you actually create some clever little animations. So I hope you found that useful and thank you for watching.